Wow. We start with this tonight. A store clerk says a group stormed his store, taking whatever they wanted. He estimates there was 40 to 50 of them. He says the only thing the employees could do is watch their store being ripped off of thousands of dollars in merchandise. Thank you so much for joining us tonight at 9. I'm Darcy Thomas. I'm Daryl Green. This was at Air Park Express gas station on East Range. Fox 13's Daniel Wilkerson is live there right now outside the store in Oak Haven. Daniel, you know, we heard what shocked the clerk the most besides his store being looted in front of his very eyes was the sheer number. And these were kids, but the sheer number of kids that were doing this. Daryl Darcy, good evening to you. Good evening to you at home. Yes, and just wait till you hear how they arrived here to the store. I'm told that there was a clerk. You'll see him in the video. He was standing about right here. He opened the door and you'll be struck by how he calmly, patiently ushered them out of the store. Watch as a group stormed the Air Park Express convenience store on East Range Road. So minimum 40 or 50 people in the coming side and those guys are taking beer, drinks, chips and everything. Maine Roney, a clerk, says it happened last Saturday. He says they appear to range in age from teens to young adults. At one point in the video, you see who appears to be a clerk standing at the front door. He patiently and gently ushers the young people out with what they estimate to be at least $3,000 in merchandise. You can still see the tire mark here. A clerk inside tells me the kids came in cars. The parking lot was full. He says they were even parked along the street. So 80 cars? Minimum 80 cars. You heard him right, at least 80 cars. He says MPD showed up promptly, but of course the people were long gone. You know, Daniel, a, a recurring practice has been noticed around Memphis too here. Stores only allowing a few customers in at a time and then locking their doors with customers inside. They say for security reasons, but this store says they don't do that. You found out today as well that stores that do this could be violating fire codes. You can't lock the door with customers inside. Yeah, and you're li you've likely seen it. You at home have likely seen it. You come to stores and they've locked the door. They're only allowing, say, two people in a time where the fire department says that's against fire code because if there should be a fire, then people can't get out of the store easily. Now, if you at home have noticed some store that does that, they're breaking code. The fire department wants to know about it. We put a way that you can contact Memphis Fire on our website, fox13memphis.com. DG. You know, Daniel, I get it. They're breaking code, but you've got to sympathize with these businesses. I mean, so many of them have to throw up their hands and I don't know. What do you do? Fox 13's Daniel Wilkerson live tonight in Oak Haven. Thank you, Daniel.